Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this tutorial, we will discuss about the formula workshop in Crystal Report for Enterprise tool. So, formula workshop is used to create the different kinds of formulas. We can open up the formula workshop by going directly to the data menu and then clicking on the formulas or we can also directly go into the formulas area and right click and click on new to open up it formula workshop. So let's see in the tool what are the different areas the formula workshop contains. So this is my crystal report for enterprise tool. Here if I go to the data tab here and if I click on the formulas. So once I click on the formulas it opens up the formula workshop and in the formula workshop we have two different options the navigation panel and then we have the object panel here. So navigation panel it contains a folder for each type of formulas in the crystal report like we have the selection formulas we have the formatting formulas so navigation panel will always have the folder for the type of formatting formulas or the selection formulas after that we have the object panel here in my object panel there are the four different parts of it the first one is the data explorer in the data explorer we have all the in use objects formulas parameters and the running totals which are present in the crystal report so we can see here that all the objects which we were using in the report they are available in the in use objects if we have any formulas then they will also appear here similarly if we have the report defined parameters or if we have any running totals they will appear in my in use objects after that we have the result object section so if I expand the result object section it contains all the result objects which are available to us in the report so it will take all those objects which we have taken from the data source and we can use them in the formula calculation then we have multiple functions so we can see here that we have all the inbuilt functions that can be used in the report it can include the custom functions like we can have the sum, count, string functions, date functions. So we can see here that we have the different categories of the functions which we can use and we can also have the user function library, variable constant, strings, ranges. So if we expand any one of them we will be able to see the inbuilt functions which are relevant to that category. Then we have the operators. So operators are used to pass the conditions between the values. So it includes the arithmetic operators, arrays, boolean operators, comparison operators, control structures. So all these we can use in generating any formula using the formula workshop. So all these options we can have in the formula workshop and formula workshop also contains the formula text window and formula workshop buttons. So the text window is used to create or modify the formulas and the workshop panel buttons allow you to use the filter formula, sort formulas, delete etc. So we can see here that this is my text window where I can write down my formula and then on the top we have the options like we can create the simple, uh, we can switch to the simple view. So if I want to go here and if I want to just go directly to the text view we can click here if I go back and click to the advanced view it will show me all the different options similarly we have this option of filter formulas here we have the option of sorting the formulas if we want to delete any formula we can delete that if we want to create any new formula function or parameter if we want to comment so if we want to toggle the comment so we can use this one so these uh, this way we can create the formulas using the formula workshop in crystal report for enterprise so in this tutorial we have discussed about the formula workshop and its different components in sap crystal reports for enterprise thank you